Here is Bernie Sanders addressing Israel's Meretz Party, the same party I belonged to as a kid, the youth party, used to Hashomatsiya, and the same one he belonged to. It's such a pity that this man is not President of the United States, because then they could bring peace to the Middle East and Israel, and perhaps even to the United States. Listen to this. Hello, and thank you very much for the opportunity to say a few words to my friends in the Meretz Party. As Israel's most prominent political organization, Meretz stands for many of the same values that progressives are fighting for here in the United States and throughout the world. As all of you know, the last several years have seen some very troubling political developments in many countries around the world, particularly in Europe, the United States, and in Israel. We observe with alarm the rise of racist, intolerant, authoritarian political movements. We have seen similar type movements in the past with all of the agony and horror they brought to the world. And together we stand united in doing everything we can to defeat those movements now and in the future. These movements have drawn strength from the fact that more and more people are being left behind by the global economy, an economy in which the very rich get richer, while many people in the middle class and working class become poorer. And the result is that all over this planet, there are many, many millions of people who are living in despair, have lost faith in their systems of government, and are desperate, desperate for alternatives. These people often see their own governments as elitist, as corrupt, as ineffective, and ignoring the pain of their lives and not delivering a better future for them or their children. All over the world, we now see demagogues who are scapegoating minorities. In the United States, we have a president who, before he won office, was a leader of the so-called Bertha movement, an effort a racist effort to deny the legitimacy of our first African-American president. Trump has also described Mexicans as criminals and rapists, and he is currently pushing an effort to keep Muslims from entering the United States. This is how demagogues work. They gain power by claiming to speak for the people's legitimate desires, but always end up using their power to oppress them. They claim to speak for the many, but really represent the very few. We have seen this played out before many times in history. How must we overcome this? The antidote to hatred, division, and resentment is to bring people together around a shared progressive vision of equality and prosperity. The answer to a politics of intolerance, resentment, and division is to develop a politics of solidarity and a common humanity, to speak up strongly in support of progressive values, principles, and rights, and organize behind them. It requires demanding that our leaders tell us the truth about what they are doing, not spin us around with endless lies and deceptions. It requires courage and taking risks. We must recognize, recognize that the forces of oligarchy work at an international level, organizing and cooperating beyond borders. So we must organize a resistance movement that acts in the same global way. We need an international movement that fights for equality and shared prosperity. We must remind people that they have the power to change politics, that real change always comes from below, not from on top. But all of that requires effort, it requires organizing, it requires, requires strategizing, and most of all, it requires commitment. Brave people uniting around a common set of values with clear goals can change a country, they can change the world.
they can even change the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. We are now in the 50th year of Israel's occupation, an occupation which denies basic Palestinian rights while failing to deliver Israel real security. I know so many of you agree with me when I say this occupation must end. As I said during my presidential campaign, peace, real peace, means security not only for every Israeli, but also for every Palestinian. It means supporting self-determination, civil rights, and economic well-being for both peoples. These are the ideas which should guide us, the values of equality, security, democracy, and justice. I know that the Meretz Party shares those values. Thank you again for allowing me to say a few words to you, and I wish you a very successful conference. I'm Neil, the talk show Pippin. I'm world famous in Hollywood. And Bernie Sanders, it's such a pity that you're not president of the United States. And that, my opinion.